of donuts in general, like yeast-based donuts and cake donuts. We knew we wanted to make a yeast donut. We knew sort of the characteristics we were looking for, and so as we tried the recipes, that's what we strived for. We wanted to make a statement. We wanted a big donut, but without it being dense. So we tried so many recipes. I know we tried over 50 recipes. You know, and it's, still, it's a continuous process, but we finally got to one that we really, really liked. Everything is organic. I gluten organic flour, pastry flour, and yeast, sugar, dry milk, baking powder, salt, and not milk. Yeah. Put the eggs. The water will have to be cold, and you put a little bit, little bit. The butter has to be soft. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Before I make the pastry. Which do you prefer? Oh no, I prefer to. I like to make the donut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dough is ready. This. City, so I did not grow up with a lot of donuts actually or, you know I don't consume them that much but now I get it I was definitely up for the challenge and so I said okay let's make some donuts <laughs> It's good, man. Yeah. I'm to say. You know, we had a pretty clear idea the kind of donut we were looking for. See, like it's tight in there. Yeah. So not the other one. Yeah. yeah, it's not as light. So it's still tasty. <laughs> still fried dough. It's still fried dough. <laughs> so yeah, I spent most of the research doing here and doing a lot of tasting. <laughs> So, uh, how many donuts do you say, say you eat a day? Oh my god. Well, nowadays, you know, I've cut back. In the beginning, I ate way too many, responsible for quite a few pounds. <laughs> I'm so happy to work with our family because. He's a good person, take your time to show me how to do the donut, how to make the flavor. I'm so happy to work with her. I'm born in Burkina Faso, West Africa. So did you eat donuts when you were growing up? In, uh, in my country? Yeah. No, I never made it. My first time is when we start to serve the donut. He wants to treat a lady. <laughs> Gentle. Gentle, yeah. Yeah, yeah sweet. Yeah. Avec uh, patience. Yeah. Yeah. You see? He knows how to treat a lady. <laughs>
think of one culture that doesn't have a fried dough on the top of my head. I do think donuts are sort of on the cusp of being one of the, the new trends. <laughs> that were familiar, you know, like the plain lace and the chocolate one, but we wanted to do things that were a little different as well. Not just for the sake of being different, but because that's exciting and that's inspiring. Passion and tenderness, you know. I let everything look so beautiful, and you're so hungry to eat this. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. From a lot of what our customers have told me, it's the first time they've tried certain things. You know, it's the first time they've tried passion fruit or hibiscus or Earl Grey. We wanted textures as well. So it's nice that you get to introduce them in a way that they're not intimidated by. And they're like, oh, you know, so maybe they're more open to trying. I'll show you a little trick of what I like to do with this. I like to put the bowl directly over the stove as I stir it. You don't want to heat it too much. You're just trying to help it melt a little. And then... You don't, want to put, you don't want to put too many at a time. Or else you want to coat them. You know, you're always just, wherever you go, you just continuously get inspired. And, you know, you're talking to someone, or you be maybe have dinner at a restaurant that has nothing to do with donuts, and you try something, you're like, mm. I think that's the way in food. You're continuously just inspired. It's like a volcano erupted with chocolate. <laughs> and there's lava everywhere. <laughs> Go see the I've had one of these. Are you guys big fans of donuts? Big fans? We drove. I almost ran out of gas getting here. <laughs> you know, you don't really change lives drastically. You don't save lives, but maybe you change the mood or maybe you create a memory. You just make them happy. Yeah.